Okay, we are going to make some pantry quesadillas, and it's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna start out with one can of chicken. And then, since you were, I live, I was vegetarian for about a year, and I, I like to use black beans as a meat substitute, and I have a ton of these in my pantry. So I'm gonna add these in. Then I'm going to add either one packet of taco seasoning or I'm going to add a tablespoon because I buy my taco seasoning at Costco's in bulk because it's a little cheaper. Um, now we're going to add Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, but if you do salt, add your salt to taste. course the pepper and we like pepper in this house this is a this is going to be I'm making these ahead for me for lunches because my husband took all the leftovers this week so I'm gonna make me something different I guess that's what I get for making all the good stuff and then he takes it all of it with him. If it's something he doesn't like, he seems to leave it leave me a little. Actually, I, with, with with us being so busy getting a house ready and uh, looking for houses. I haven't been cooking as much up, to be honest. This is gonna be the filling for our quesadillas. And you can smush up those beans as much or as little as you like. You could even run it through a blender if you really want it smooth. I could hit it with the emulsion blender, I think I think it'll be fine. Okay, let's make up our quesadillas. We're gonna start with a tortilla. And I'm gonna make up all these, how many ever it makes, because you can always freeze them. cheese to this and add as much cheese as you like and then we're going to top with a second tortilla Brown a little bit on the back, and there is your quesadilla. I like to add, 
I like to I like to dip cut these in, in pieces and dip them in sour cream and salsa, homemade salsa that I make.